U.S. wants to send Iranian weapons to Ukraine. The U.S. government is trying to find a legal way to send Ukrainian weapons allegedly sent to Houthis in Yemen by Iran, but which were confiscated en route, the Wall Street Journal reported. Citing anonymous U.S. and European officials, the Wall Street Journal said the White House is looking for wiggle room in U.N. regulations so that the rifles, rockets and ammunition seized on the high seas can be redirected to Kiev. Though the number of weapons seized is small compared to what the U.S. and its allies have sent Ukraine over the past year, the unnamed officials say it would be a symbolic punishment for Iran supplying Russia with drones, which both Tehran and Moscow have denied. It's a message to take weapons meant to arm Iran's proxies and flip them to achieve our priorities in Ukraine, where Iran is providing arms to Russia, one unnamed US official told. According to the journal, the cash amounts to 5,000 rifles, 1.6 million rounds of ammunition for them a score of anti-tank rockets and around 7,000 proximity fuses. The loot from three fishing boats boarded by US and French sailors over the past several months in the Gulf of Oman. What change can this make to war? The Houthi Deputy Information Minister Nasser al-Din Amir told the journal when asked about the idea of sending the weapons to Ukraine. They've been sending much heavier weapons. Washington, Berlin and London announced last month they would deliver heavy tanks to Kiev. As of this week, according to the Pentagon, the US alone has provided Ukraine with over 100 million bullets. NATO defense ministers in Brussels, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, admitted that the current rate of Ukraine's ammunition expenditure is many times higher than our current rate of production, which he said was putting a strain on the West's military industry and depleting allied stockpiles. Russia has warned the US and its allies that continuing to send weapons to Ukraine risks involving them in the conflict directly and only delays the inevitable.